hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new to my channel hello and welcome to my channel my name is summer so uh, in this video i want to share about this uh, update maybe i call it update because uh, there was one video where this um yul educhi for anyone that does not know this is a man that he made a post saying how amazing his marriage was and that uh, how you know they were together for 16 years and they are happy that she was with him when he was a nobody and all of those and said amazing things about his wife so not uh, recently then where he just came out and announced apparently there's a blog that was trying to expose him that uh, he had a baby mama somewhere you know that she was pregnant and then when she had a baby and all of that and uh, from before they could get to expose him he decided to come out and uh, announce it himself basically what it looks like is that he tried to beat them to it and he made a post on instagram and said you know meet my new baby and uh, by my second wife so basically it looks like he quickly went and made it a marriage so it will no longer it will not be a marriage that had affair it becomes a man that has two wives all of that so if you don't know how you can check out my videos from a few days ago you can see where i explain more about the whole story so he did an interview in which he said you know uh, people don't live in my house you know it's like he was trying to he was speaking about the whole you know hoopla la how people with the opera how people came for him and you know were dragging him to say why would you do this to your wife that has been good to you and all of that and he said uh, they don't live in my house they don't know you know what's happening in my house something like that in that interview he said you know there is not everything i can say and that uh, you know and no matter what no matter the pressure i will not make my wife mary to look bad and uh, they don't live in my house they don't know the you know there's a reason why somebody would do something you know he said he doesn't want to make his wife look bad people don't live in his house and that uh, they don't know the genesis of the whole thing or whatever way he phrased it but um if you are a right thinking person from that, basically what the message is, or what it comes across, to me, you can say what it come, comes across to you as, he's basically saying that I have a reason for doing it. I had no choice, I had to do it. There's some stuff happening in my home that made me do it, right? And that I will not say it so that my wife would not look bad. So whether you like it or not, he has basically said, my wife is bad. But I don't want to say it because I don't want her to look bad. The message then is that she's bad, but I don't want to say it so that I will not make her look bad. At the end of the day, what he has done basically is saying that his wife is bad. And I think he would have been better off just actually say what she did. Let people not determine if that thing is actually bad or if it's not bad. Because now people are going to be making up their minds on different areas. Or the people are going to be assuming. So people will think, oh, maybe she was unfaithful. Oh, maybe one of the children is not his own. Maybe there is, because he has created that, for I call it a loophole, he might have, he should have kept quiet and not say anything and say, well, they don't know my life and leave it like that. But now say they don't know what's happening in my house. I don't want to make my wife look bad. People are going to be, you understand? People will say, ah, could it be she's this? Could it be she's that? Oh, she does not know how to dance. You know, she this. Do you know what I mean? He has basically created that, that there is something wrong with his wife. So at the end of the day then, his wife is why he did it. It is her fault. She made me do it. You know, since the time of Adam and Eve, man has always blamed woman. <laughs> man has always blamed woman. When God said to Adam, ah, God told them, you know, not to eat. What, what did you do, Adam? He said, Adam, go say, ah, God, do ah, I go eat, Amu. as you told me, I shouldn't have done it. I've ate it. He said, my wife, Adam was a grown man. Adam could have said, I'm not the chop. No. Ah, did you eat it? You shouldn't have ate it. And he was called his wife. I said, why did you eat it? No, he ate. He said, say, ah, at the end of the day, you ate. God meet you. Why did you eat it? She said, he said, my wife. In short, no. Adam did not even say my wife. He said, the woman that you gave me. Made, so he first blamed God. The woman you gave me. So now you bring this woman. Now that woman where you bring. Now make me eat her. She did not force him or she did not shove it down his throat. He had a choice to eat or not to eat. So man, I've always blamed woman from time in memory. I know be today, right? But I'm saying that whether you like it or not, he has basically thrown his wife under the bus. That's basically what he has done. He has basically said that she made me do it. There is something she did that made me do it. All that one saying that eh, I will not want to make her look bad. He has already made her look bad. He has already done it. At the same time, if your wife did something, we don't know if she did anything. Like I said, until we know what it is. Personally, I can say, okay, that is actually not bad. 
or we can say is bad because what is bad to one person may not be bad to other people anyway let me not go into that so if a wife offended you the solution is to go marry another wife you know if you marry him for koro koro he was doing koni koni for back the wife only found out on the monday that he married her a few days after he did the traditional whatever she did not know so it's the wife that made you do it you didn't even do it openly you went and did it behind her back don't forget oh this man did not marry and then have a baby no he was having an affair a baby now entered that affair he now thought it into marriage so you understand what i'm trying to say before he thought it into marriage if the solution to every whatever that happens in a marriage is to go and marry another one so this new one that he married if that one now offend them tomorrow he will go and marry the third one abby if the third one he, he offend them tomorrow he will marry the fourth one abby these are the things we talk about about how in africa or nigeria let me speak for nigeria how women can be treated anyhow because if this same youth was living in america or living in the uk he will not say my wife offended me you don't want a gay you do divorce first you pay early money abby then you pay child maintenance he will do all that one before he can he then is free to go marry somebody else so she offended him he went and bought a new wife as a solution because the new one is an angel that can never offend him ever like i'm saying until he says because let me tell you if she offended you so badly that you are still with her there are some men that their wife have done something they cannot i, I cannot live my life like this i cannot stay in this marriage with this woman they will leave one woman and go to another one no this guy was having an affair. He turned to pregnancy. He claimed say he be odogu. Eh? He claimed say he be odogu. One of my friends on Facebook said, no, this one is not odogu. This one is all Diego. You play in a way match and then you now claim that uh, his second wife. That is not how it's done. So men actually say, this wife has offended me. This is blah, blah, blah. Unforgivable, whatever. I cannot live in this marriage. And they quit one for another one. No, this one was having an affair. She became pregnant. He now claimed second wife. You see, say, this guy's story no too quantized. You know, correspond, you know, make sense, right? Now, in that marriage, now he's going to say that he never ever offended his wife once in the whole of the 16, 17 years they were married. He's going to say that, right? So, if he has offended her, she didn't feel that the solution to that offense is to go marry somebody else. But it is for him to say, she offended me, I'm going to marry somebody else. This guy is not making any sense. I don't know, maybe he may think within himself that he's making sense, but it's not making any sense. At all, he's not. But unfortunately, Nigeria is a society where husbands can do anyhow and they will not see anyhow. The woman will stay there because where is she going to start from? Ah, why is she going to do, do that? So, caught yourself. The man will seize the children, she will not get access. She will, she's now there at his mercy. But about that, she will not try to compete with the other woman. She will try to dance better. She will try to do everything better, cook better. Do this one better because now we are two. There's a competition. I have to give him reason to always want to come home to me. And let me tell you guys something. You see, when a man marries a new wife, whether you like it or not, that that new one will be shaka. This one feels no shaka because they've already been on the pipeline for a long time. So maybe they already had enough of each other. I don't know. But there's something about the one that has been with you for 16 years. You know, go do that excited because 16 years has been a long time. This one will be saying new small. I think they shaka because it's the new one. You understand? So at the end of the day, the first wife or the wife, she's not going to have advantage over the other one. Maybe for a while. Until maybe not realize that side chick was actually not a, as amazing as he thought she was going to be. But anyways, I saw that video and because we have been covering this story, I wanted to quickly come and just uh, you know, address this uh, update where he has basically said that it's his wife's fault. I'm not saying his wife is an angel, but I'm saying that you cannot come and be using style to tell the world that your wife is bad now. And don't forget when he made that post, he said wife was amazing. Nobody forced him to make the post now. Was it not by himself, but not really. To say she was with him even when there was nobody, he had nothing. She said she would come and manage with him. I'm saying that he has actually done more damage now because people will be speculating now. What could she have done? People will now start looking among his children and say, Hey, maybe one of them, maybe, hey, which one? No resemble them. Oh, ah, you must have, ah. People will start thinking, what could it have been? Yeah, since he, said, he don't talk and say, so, so, so. One more, ah, and you know our culture is very quick to blame women. He has basically done worse, and I believe he's better off. Kukuma say what she did. Let the world actually decide. The world that you're basically indirectly told that she, she has done something wrong. Let them then decide if what she has done is actually wrong or not. I feel like this is actually worse. Anyways, I wanted to quickly come and share this update. And as always, whatever your opinions are, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.